Hey guys, Paul from Ashley Phoenix. It is May 4th. May the 4th be with you. May what? the 4th why be that with you. Because I went space balls instead of Star Wars. That's why. Weird. The Schwartz. Anyway, this episode brought to you by Paul and Tim do a thing. We do a thing. More. I, I don't I, I got nothing. Hey guys, it's Tim from Capes and Scales, the comic book store. Team Ashen and Paul and Tim do a thing. Let's talk trades. I've got X-Men Legends, Mutant Mayhem. Uh, this is volume two of X-Men Legends. We've got, a, this is great, I ordered this. Epic Collection, Ghost Rider, volume one. This is the old Marvel Spotlight stuff into the start of the Ghost Rider series. We got Harleen by Steven Sajic. I'm happy this came out because I was pretty sure it got delayed and then it, I, I couldn't figure out when the hell the book was coming out. That was an awesome series. Love it was that. an awesome series, Paul says. Avengers. Uh, this is one of the Marvel Masterworks. This is issues 11 through 20. It doesn't actually say it's like volume 2 or 3 or whatever. I don't know if they're going to switch it up. Uh, Star Wars High Republic volume 3. High Republic stuff's been pretty cool. We have another Ghost Rider themed epic collection. Actually, I guess it's not an epic collection. Uh, Spirits of Vengeance, Rise of the Midnight Suns. Uh, this was a really good run in the 90s. There's only so much good in the 90s, right, Paul? Yeah. This is pretty dark and very cool for a Marvel story. We've got Spawn Origins Collection, Volume 21. Almost out of that origin, huh? <laughs> this is like issues 120 or so. We've got Tales of the Super Pets. Tales spe spelled like actual tales. Good job. There's the horse. All right. Sandman, Book 3. So they, they are really plugging along with these, which is good. And then finally, Batman the Dark Detective. Dark Knight Detective, Volume 6. Man, uh, it's probably great. Yeah, can I can't figure out what issues these are. <laughs> First up, we have Flashpoint Beyond. Uh, this is kind of weird because you really need to, to have read Flashpoint Zero to understand anything going on in this book. Um, and I think that's kind of a big misstep. Like, most of the time, your zeros are kind of, like, one or two little things, little hints of what's going on, and one is where, like, the stories get started. But literally everything that you needed to know is in Flashpoint Zero. But uh, the premise is uh, Flashpoint is happening again. So that world that you saw that created the, the New 52 um, has been undone, and we are literally right at the end of of where the original Flashpoint series ended. Uh, Britain is uh, under attack. Uh, Wonder Woman and Aquaman are at each other's throats. Um, and just terrible things are happening all around the world. And the only person that knows anything about it is Thomas Wayne. And you're starting to figure out who actually is creating this issue. And it's probably not who you think it is. But uh, interesting story. I mean, I'll, I'll probably check it out at the rest of it because... I mean, I like this stuff that uh, does have kind of real-world implications but can go kind of off the rails sometimes. Um, unlike what I read, like, last week with Justice League, where it was like, everybody died. I'm like, that's not going to stick. Whereas uh, this might actually uh, cause things that will continue to, to ripple through. So we'll see how it goes. First up for me is a comic from Vault. It's Quests Aside. This is... Essentially, they even say it on the back here. This is kind of like Always Sunny in a D&D &D campaign. Uh, it's very silly. It's very weird. There's really good jokes. There's an orc stand-up comedian. Like, there is so many weird things happening in this book. Uh, essentially, what you have is some old adventurers that have settled down and made a tavern. And uh, the king is going to come by and kind of throw some nonsense their way that they don't want to deal with. The characters are weird. There's a failed magician, there's a murderous um, waitress who is, or I can't tell if she was a waitress or a cook because she kind of gets banished away, um, but all these characters are very silly. There's something quirky about all of them, um, and I just had a lot of fun with this. I'm surprised Paul didn't want to read this one. You didn't read this one, Paul. I'm surprised. I was thinking about it. You should have. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, and, and the bard. Oh my god. The bard off in this? Holy hell. There's a bard off. Bards. Bards. Uh, if you want something fun in an RPG kind of setting, definitely get this. Next up, we have Little Monsters issue number three. This has been such an amazing series so far. 
uh, we are getting to that point where uh, the, the little vampires know that humans are, are around and still existing. And then you have this crew of people that are trying to kind of scavenge their way through the world. But then you also have these vampires who have never tasted human blood before. And one does. And you have this split within the faction of, uh, well, we should basically be our own thing. But like these are kids' mentalities. They're very These are very little kids uh, trying to make very grown-up decisions um, while also letting their id uh, kind of go out of control. And that really kind of spirals in this book. And it's such an amazing series. I love the color palette. The color palette is just absolutely beautiful because it really does change um, your feeling on um, the world in general and uh, makes it way more bleak. And uh, it's just a really good series. Check it out. Next up, we have Metal Society, issue number one. This is Zach Kaplan, who you know we love because we've loved him all the way since Eclipse, his breakout book. This one is pretty cool. Essentially what happened is humans died. We were dead. And robots brought us back. And so now we're like, well, I think it's like 100 years into us existing again. And uh, we're. this is all about a, a fist fight. This is about humans being bred to do different things, but also they're going to compete in a sport where robot versus human. Um, the human is only genetically altered, so the fist won't break when they punch a robot. And beyond that, that's it. And it is treated like uh, a sporting event. It's pretty cool. Um, issue one gives you all the setup and takes you right up to the fight. So uh, you're going to want more, for sure. The book was really well uh, written. The art is very cool. And uh, I would definitely keep reading this. This is a lot of fun. So if you want something different, it's a different kind of story with robot versus human, check it out. And what is my pick of the week? It is Twig, issue number one. This is just beautifully drawn um you have a character named twig in this fantasy world that uh has to go on a quest and that quest is not leading him to the place that it, you probably expect it to or he probably even expects it to and uh that's all i want to say to really kind of go into this the writing is fantastic uh you immediately love the the, the character as you get an idea and, and a sense of what is going on and where this story needs to go, which is kind of how you need <clears throat> in any type of uh, these books. Like, uh, Image usually is pretty good, but I mean, every now and then you're going to get that book where the, the the story is so much set up that it never actually gets to the centralized plot where this uh, very quickly does. And it's just so sweet. Like, like I said, the art is fantastic. The writing is really cute. You get this fanciful tale that isn't quite what you expect it to be. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Uh, Scotty Young does an amazing job doing these tales that are, uh, um, while grounded, um, have these crazy fanciful stuff. Uh, I Hate Wonderland um, is is their uh, Middle West. Uh, these... Fairyland. Huh? Fairyland. What did I say? Wonderland. Oh, sorry. I Hate Fairyland, um, <laughs> which I loved. Uh, yeah, it was very good. I read that too. The Me You Love in the Dark. Like, all these stuff are just really, really well done uh, things. The art is fantastic in all of them. But the writing is 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 also there. And, you, and Scotty Young is more known for his uh, cover art than his writing style. But, man, he really should, should be um, with his writing because uh, he's four for four for me uh, as far as these books go. So check this one out. All right, it's time for my pick of the week. Paul, do you know what my pick of the week is? I do not. You ready to be surprised? Possibly. It's giant size X Men Thunderbird. That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I don't like the X Men. You're right. You do not. But you know what I do like? I like Steve Orlando. You know what else I like? Nyla Rose, AEW wrestler who wrote this book. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, um, this is a pretty interesting title. Yes, it is. I'm well known for not liking my X Men. So, uh, this is following Thunderbird, who's been dead pretty much forever and they acknowledge that and he's been brought back because x-men and krakoa so he's back and he is going to his homeland he's not really he's like i don't want to focus on the mutant crap right now let me focus on the apache stuff let me figure out how my people are doing and he heads there and there's of course of course they're not doing good because we need some some fist fights and some 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 confrontation and uh it's just a brawl once he gets there and it definitely discusses 
Uh, I love his redesign. They redesigned his costume, and it's actually uh, the artist, which Dave Cutler? Cutler? I lost it. Mm -hmm. David Cutler is actually a Native American himself, so he designed this to be fairly accurate, the new costume. This is not the new costume. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, very smart book, very well thought out. Nyla Rose did great. Orlando is always great. And you can definitely feel that this was a, a passion project issue. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with the character going forward. I hope they don't just kill him off again. Uh, but for a character that, I don't want to say a nothing character, but he didn't get a lot of business. Finally getting some business, finally doing some things. It's good to see, and it's nice that it was handled well. So let's see what happens with this. All right, that is it. Thank you, everybody, for checking us out. We'll be back next week with more comics, because we can't stop. Uh, make sure you check us out. Paul and Tim do a thing on our separate YouTube channel. And uh, come on down to the store. This week will be free comic book day on Saturday. Come down. We'll have a, we're will have a we having a small sale. It's nothing crazy, you know. We're still kind of easing back into things. But come on down and check out the store. Uh, 30 North Main Street, Glassboro, New Jersey, if you're in the area. If you're down in the area, just say hi. All right, bye.